Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of, of Subsistence. It is very early in the morning and it looks like it's about to rain, which isn't great considering the things that we have planned for the day. Currently, I am making some Molotovs that requires two alcohol, one cloth, and four glass fragments, and hopefully with the two grenades and the two Molotovs, we can have a little bit of fun today. We also need a couple of... Um, weapons parts today that is the plan to try to find those we are pretty desperate for weapons parts we need at least seven more parts to make the double barrel shotgun and um yeah if you guys were looking for an episode yesterday i am so very very sorry about that i had a long day yesterday i had a delivery for the new house and i was you know with the delivery guy and i locked myself out of the current house i'm living in and I had to wait for my husband to get home from work so I could get back in the house. And that was after his doctor's appointment at four. So, yeah, I was locked out all day. I didn't have any way to get back in. I should have used my um, skills from this game and broke in. <laughs> but I did not. Um, yeah, so I had a very long day yesterday. I do apologize for that. And if things don't improve in the next couple of weeks, I do think that I will be going to three episodes a week Monday Wednesday and Friday of subsistence and if I have time um, I might throw in some random other game um, a lot of you I've seen in the analytics have been watching the infected series again so um, there is the possibility that I will um, you know start that back up maybe at some point um, there's another update coming out very soon with some more building pieces uh, we haven't messed around with the Jeep at all yet. Um, there's that. There was a lot of new things in the last update as well. So we haven't played since uh, version 10. Version 11 is currently out. And version 12, I think, should be out very soon. Scotty has also mentioned that there's a potential update coming out for this game pretty soon with some neat pictures being posted on Steam. He says they are not from cold games. There's not anything definitive about those yet. But it's suspected that it is from cold games. Ooh, there's a crate here. So this morning we are going to be looking for weapons parts. We desperately uh, need those. I would love to be able to get the double barrel shotgun. So if we have time and everything goes well and the rain holds off for a tiny bit. You know, we have a lot of things going on here. Um, there's a guy right there. And I missed him. Okay, let's see if he comes back out from behind the tree. The claymore is somewhere around here. Um, we ended up uh, blowing up the claymore in the last episode. So there's that. Where is everyone over here? They're just sort of hanging out somewhere? Where I can't see them? I mean, I can shoot into their base right here. But I don't see anyone out. That's a bit odd and disturbing. I know if I try to blow up the door, people are going to surround me from every single direction. Darn it. Let's go ahead and reload this weapon. Because I have yet to hit anything. We do have some shotgun rounds. We also have some ammo available. Why can't I hit anything with this? This is why I don't really love this weapon. Um, the shotgun, great weapon up close. Pistol, better weapon than the rifle in my opinion. As far as hitting people. Um. Yeah, this is not going well, guys. Don't know what the problem is here. But I can't hit the broad side of a red barn. I don't 
know. This guy's just not even concerned with what's going on up here. Um, I think he's a bit concerned now. I think he might be. Just a tiny bit concerned. I can't even hit him with the rifle even up close. Yeah, that's not cool. No big weapons. No shotgun, please. No, 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 no. We can't have that, please. Okay, so that happened. We had a very, very difficult first raid. Getting this guy to die was a problem. We did get a weapons part. Very, very lovely. Let's see if we can... Get her grenade down here and blow up the doorway. Okay. I don't think it'll blow it up completely. But maybe enough. Okay. Let's just throw that down and get away. And I didn't get far enough away, so now I'm injured. Let's go with that again. And let's start chopping into the door. Hopefully there's no one else out here. I do hear lots of noise around me. I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's stuck in there. Yeah, I definitely think he's stuck. So, let's get our fingers ready. For the shotgun, of course. And hopefully we can get some more weapons parts from these guys. I think he's ready for me. And I do assume there's another guy upstairs because I can still hear him. Oh, dear. Shot him in a place that he didn't want shot. So everyone was inside. That's a bit odd. I've never seen that before. All of the hunters being in here, we needed seven weapons parts. We've gotten three so far. Um, let's go ahead and take his rabbit that he was cooking. Let's take their biofuel that they were rendering. Let's take all of their glass fragments that they were refining. As well as their gunpowder and casings. That's a very nice haul. Did we put the fire out? We did not put the fire out. So, let's go ahead and take that and extinguish their fire. And have a little look out here. Turn on their light. They don't need that today. So there was one guy outside and three guys inside. I have never seen that before. And all of the time that I have ever raided a base, other than, of course, the Bravo, ba or the, sorry, the Fortress base, we did get two more weapons parts. That's very, very nice. Let's see what they have over here. Ooh, lots of nice shotgun ammo. Pistol ammo. Rifle ammo. Lots and lots of copper ore, adhesive, um, a claymore, which is not necessarily used very much by me anyway. Okay, we have that. We have their fire out. Let's make sure we don't step on anything over here. It wouldn't be cool if we died. Um, let's see if we can get to their fire and take their stuff for mass. Okay, not horrible. Could have definitely gone smoother. Um, I'm okay. We survived it. It's like extremely quiet right now. 
I did hear a little bit of thunder earlier. Um, I did expect a rainstorm. However, it is clearing a bit, so hopefully it won't rain until we at least go over and visit the Alpha guys. Would love to be able to um, raid their base today as well. Hopefully we can get that in. We don't need a ton of weapons parts um, now. So hopefully we can get what we need from those guys when it comes to weapons parts to make the double barrel shotgun. Uh, probably going to have to make some more power and mass storage at some point so that we can get the lathe up and going. So we can start with the elevator and all of those nice things that we do need. Hello, level 9 chicken. Soon to be level 10 chicken. Very, very cool. Um... So let's get in here. Let's drop off several things. I did place a drop chest here. Um, just for emergency situation like now. Uh, what do we need? We'll take this just in case the Molotov is a complete disaster, which is very possible with me. You never know. I have not checked on the garden in a couple of days, so I'm sure it's going to be needing some water and things of that nature let's take that let's also put the apple over here i was going to eat it but maybe we'll hold off on it a bit let me have a little drink of water maybe some protein while we're over here let's see if we need any more ammo i don't think we do uh maybe just a couple more rifle rounds would be okay i did use quite a bit of those i don't like using all of the rifle rounds they are very hard to get back let's get over here and uh, try to um raid the alpha base as well um i do need some more bandages i do think i might have some crafted or maybe i don't that's an easy fix let's just craft about three more let's craft five more just to be on the safe side of things let's put that back in there and let's get out and about Hopefully the next raid goes smoother. Um, I didn't really enjoy the raid at the Bravo base. It was a bit different. I'd never seen that particular setup before where um, there was three guys inside the base. I've never seen that before. I definitely was not expecting that by any stretch of the imagination. So that was definitely a bit different, of course, to have to deal with. Um, Let's get over here and see what we can come up with, guys. Very excited today about getting this done. We do need the weapons parts. Um, it's not a matter of how many, but it's how many we can get. Why is the game so quiet today? There's nothing going on. There's some scraps spawning in over here. There's no wind noise. There's no animals growling at me. It's like nothing has really spawned in yet. Um, let's take that. Let's reload that. And let's get out the rifle. I do see one guy here. Like you can't hit anything either today. Um, not quite sure what's going on with that. But they can hit me. But I can just shoot all around them. I can't ever hit those guys. Oh, but they see me. Okay, let's get a bandage. Get a first aid kit. Let's shoot this guy. Okay. That happened. Okay. Um, let me collect my thoughts here for just a moment. This guy's still out and about. That's one less guy to deal with. Um, one weapons part. Um, didn't get too lucky with that. Let's get over here and use these. Um, I don't know how 
far back to be from these guys. That is just so cool to see that. I really enjoy watching these guys' faces burn down. That is just very, very cool sight. Very much enjoy that. And these do stack, so you don't have to wait on that to burn down at all. Um, hopefully that hit the right place and it didn't go off, you know, to one side or the other. Hopefully that hit the right location. That is just so cool. Hopefully we can get into their base and not be too, too very long at it. Um, yeah, the amount of hit points left on this door is not a ton. I think we can get in here relatively quickly. There still should be one guy inside, um, hopefully. And um, it's not too different today. I mean, it's already been... It's already been a crazy day. Okay, so let's just get in here and uh, let's reload the shotgun first. Just because I am expecting someone in there. Let's get the key, my fingers on the right key so that I can very quickly switch over to the shotgun. Okay, we are nearly there. Seriously, you bring a bow to a gunfight. I mean, seriously. Another weapons part. Very, very cool. And there should be a guy up here. I'll have that arrow. Thank you, kind sir. And two weapons parts up here. I do think we have enough now. We needed seven. I think we got five, maybe six from the other side. So is there anything else up here? I mean, I really enjoy this balcony up here. That's very nice. This guy's always running back and forth when he sees me out and about, like, over on that rock. I always come up by this rock, so he always sees me, and he's running back and forth. Maybe it's the rock a little bit further down. But anyway, he always sees me, and he's always running back and forth, and I had no idea what that was about. And I think it was Albion said that he sees me, but he can't lock on to me at that point. And, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. 13 iron ingots or iron fragments was very, very cool. I really enjoyed getting that. More shotgun ammo, more adhesive. Look at, just look at all these nails. Just look at all of that. Ain't that cool? 44 nails. Very, very, very nice. The adhesive is also nice. Padded cloth is really, really good to find in a crate. Just a couple of pistol rounds. We have some gunpowder, 44 gunpowder, 9, 11 casings, and three alloy sheets very very nice we did get all the bags we got one upstairs we got this guy's bag we got the two that were out here already let's see if we can get over here without stepping on a claymore i don't know if these guys have one or not um, but i don't want to take that kind of chance let's extinguish that fire and yeah let's get back over to the base slowly make our way back over there yeah it's very very calm today there's no wind i'm not quite sure what's going on this game is so quiet today um, no animals even in the birch forest there's no wolves growling at me um yeah i'm not sure what's going on have they just not spawned into the game did the game have a problem loading? I mean, just look at this. There's no animals around. Where are all the brown bears? Where are all the wolves? There's a bear, but where are the wolves? Did they take a break? Are they on vacation today? Are they on strike? You know, where are they? There's not even a wolf up this um, stream. It just doesn't seem right. Anyway, guys, I am complaining a bit too much about something that is actually a good thing. That means we can do a bit more looting you know after we drop off this loot we can do a bit more rummaging around out here see if we can find a lock crate we do have a lock pick so there's that um yeah i think we did really well with getting the um weapons parts today this chicken is going to be level 10 very soon so let's get in here Let's take these five. We got nine weapons parts today. That is very, very cool. 
Um, what else do we need to take with us? It's very, very important. This stacks. Um, the glass fragment stack as well. The nails also stack. We got 49 nails. Very, very cool. Fuel brick. I don't know what it is with the fuel brick. We haven't been getting those before. Cotton seed. Um, yeah, I think gunpowder and casings. We got nearly a um, hundred gunpowder and 24 casings. That's really, really good. But anyway, let's get this loot over here. Pick up a lock pick. Uh, we also need to turn on the generator over here as well. I'm sure the base needs the power. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, it's not very pressing. Um, you don't go in there yet. Let's put the ammo stuff away. We don't need all of this ammo with us. I'm going to put the rifle back in there. I'll drop that there. Let's put the power, the gunpowder and casings away as well as what else goes in here? Nothing. Um, the alloy sheets go in here. The padded cloth is going to have to go in here because we don't really have a place for it yet. The adhesive goes in there and some of the mass producing items can go over here. Put you, you, and you away, as well as you. And let's get our splint, our lock pick. Let's also get um, two of you, six of you, and I'll just have a water, have a tomato, we'll have a steak. We need to cook some food. We actually need to kill some food we're running pretty low on meat as well drop you there and have any of the animals spawned in yet just drop you in here for now um, I have a level 10 chicken there so it looks like some of the animals are spawning in there's a wolf over there now so that's good. Um, there's a pig up here. Let's have a little look over this direction for a locked crate. It would be nice to find one of those. It would just be an awesome loot day if that were the case. Um, so let's just have a little look in the birch forest. That's a great place to start looking for a locked crate. There's a bear down that direction. Um, let's see what is over in this area. Um, some scrap just spawning in here. Um, plant fiber just here. I uh, don't really see a locked crate in the birch forest immediately. Um, it could be a bit closer to these guys. Um, I have found it on top of this rock before. Right up here. And on top of this rock as well. Or on the side of this rock. I actually found it right here before. Yeah, I don't know. It's just creepy out here, guys. I think I'm more afraid of the quietness than I am of all the animals. It just seems like something's definitely wrong. So we are to be expecting a double revenge attack tomorrow. So that's not going to be a lot of fun for me. I'm going to have to get the base ready. I'm going to have to do a lot of upgrade or not upgrades, but repair work just to make sure that there are no nearly broken boards from any of the previous attacks. I don't think there is. I don't think they really done that much damage to the base before. I have done some repair work on that already. 
Um, no locked crate. I wonder if the locked crate um, not being out is because there are no wolves. Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? Like an entire day with no wolves? Is that a wolf up there? Uh, maybe, or a pig, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, definitely don't know what's going on with that. Let's get this building crate here. If we don't find a locked crate, that is okay as well. We did get some great loot today. Not complaining about the amount of loot that we did get. Um, a locked crate would have just been extra loot. Which would have been okay. There's a deer over there. Level 3. Couldn't kill that with one shot. And I'm sure it would go toward the fortress base. And that would not be great for me. But anyway guys. It is getting dark. And I don't want to record a dark video. So I am going to end this episode here. I'm just going to be headed back to the base now. Because I don't want to be caught out in the dark either. So... Uh, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.